Today's show is brought to you by The Beach Place, located at the Holland State Park. They sell quality ice cream and beach accessories for both kids and adults. There's also a place to eat and sit in the shade. Well, students, the biggest event of the year is back. There will be sweat and there will be tears. I'm Danny Wynn. I'm Sam. And we're your hosts for the 2016 Senior Survivor. We're excited you guys. Got... Well, students, the biggest event of the year is back. There will be sweat and there will be tears. I'm Danny Wynn. I'm Sam Strobel. And we're your hosts for the 2016 Senior Survivor. We're excited to take you guys along this incredible journey with us. Donate now. Buy shirts. Tune into our Snap Stories and our live streaming. Huge things are coming your way, Wasatawa. We're trying to make some fat stacks this year, so I better see you all donate. You guys better donate. Go to WBN Online for more information on Survivor. Let's get it started. Previously on Survivor. Last year, the survivors were able to come together and raise a combined total of over $16,000. Steph Walker went home the winner. Good morning, West Ottawa. I'm Zach Neitzel. And I'm Bryce Thomas. And we are the directors for Senior Survivor Season 3. We have a huge week coming up for you guys. We put in a lot of work and we're hoping you like it. Uh, more on that, over to where all the money goes and the real purpose to what we're doing, Mr. Reinecke. You know, when we started Senior Survivor, uh, we're now heading into our third season, but when, when it originated, um, the purpose of Senior Survivor was to raise money for um, a new account which we called WinWo, and it stands for When in Need West Ottawa. And the fundraiser is uh, devoted to uh, students throughout our district who are maybe facing some challenging times and, and have some basic needs. So uh, some things over the last few years that uh, WinWo has provided to students throughout our entire district, that's actually middle and high school, has been um, as simple as clothing, uh, winter coats, hats, gloves, um, hygiene uh, items. Uh, we've We've uh, been able to purchase some school supplies for students throughout the district and, uh, you know, just, just a variety of things that meet the basic needs of students here at West Ottawa. Um, stay tuned to Senior Survivor Season 3 because we've had a committee of students working very hard to make sure that uh, just because it may be a little bit shorter this year, uh, it's still going to be awesome. Our first survivor is Alexia Gomez. She is a self-proclaimed black skin American who loves to make money. Alexia is passionate about helping others in as many ways as possible. So in the games, she won't lose sight of the real reason why she is in the competition. Our second survivor is Taylor Cliffman. She's involved in West Ottawa Dance Marathon Planning Committee, National Honor Society, and Young Life. Taylor is a wildlife leader, golfer, member and volunteer at the Boys and Girls Club for 10 years and is an avid reader. Meet Paul Harrington, your fearless Senate leader. Paul enjoys long walks on the beach and crushing his enemies. Meet Jojo Rosales. She is the vice president of the senior class 
editor-in-chief of yearbook, and is involved in WBN, NHS, Senior Selection Committee, and Varsity Golf. JoJo looks forward to bringing her A-game and outwit, outlast, outplay, and outfundraise her opponents. Our next survivor is Joe Sigler. Joe loves being in the water, playing water polo, swimming, and is involved in baseball. He loves the Chicago Cubs, and he's in it to win it. The next survivor is Quincy Dunez. He is very passionate about everything that he's interested in, including music, cooking, and helping others. In the games, you can count on Quincy to always keep a positive attitude and try to raise the most money, because in the end, it's all going to help other people in need. Our next survivor is Maddie Farrell. She enjoys art, helping the elderly, helping kids, fellow peers, hanging out with friends, and preparing to dominate Senior Survivor. Our next survivor is Jameson Bader. In his free time, Jameson enjoys laughing, smiling, playing soccer, and getting cut from the varsity basketball team. In this competition, Jameson will be sure to make people laugh and hopefully smile, even though his best jokes probably won't make it on WOBM. Our next survivor is Wes Hook. Wes is currently participating in varsity wrestling and is coming off a stellar season on the world bench and works at Qdoba Mexican Eats. He plans to wrap up the competition like a Qdoba burrito and be home before he misses his dog squirt too much. Lucas is really interested in outdoor activities such as hunting and water sports. He's also really passionate about filmmaking and entertaining others. He's a very competitive nature person and will do whatever it takes to win. He quotes, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. Meet Cody Tamavongsa. He is a whopping 6'3 and 200 pounds. He is also very friendly but a fierce competitor. He is a lax bro who enjoys lax, baking cookies, and making people laugh. Our next survivor is Magdalene. She enjoys horses, doing makeup, and helping others. She likes to make people smile. In Survivor, she hopes to raise money to help others smile more. Hey survivors, we're here. We're on the island. We're ready to go. We're on location, learning everything about what survivors should do. We're ready to host you guys. And uh, here is everything new about survivors. This year's senior survivor is only three days. And this year, the directors are moving right into here. I might move in also, so you know we're gonna get some quality shows. This year we will also be live streaming to YouTube, so even when you're at home you can check out the games live. We got a new Snapchat coming your way. Go at WBN online right now. It's another way besides the live streaming to watch Survivor from home. Welcome to the island. At the end of the day, three people will be eliminated. The money they raise will be collected at lunch, so if you want your favorite Survivor to stay in, donate now. On Sunday, nine people will move into the school. On Monday night, only seven will stay the night. And on the final night, Tuesday night, four contestants will stay the night, bringing us to our final four. The winner of Senior Survivor will be announced at the holiday assembly on Wednesday. Make sure to keep donating and check at WOBN Online for more updates. Today's show is brought to you by The Beach Place, located at the Holland State Park. They sell quality ice cream and beach accessories for both kids and adults. There's also a place to eat and sit in the shade. It's the first day of Senior Survivor. Survivors are all moved in. 
Over six grand has been raised already. Let's get it going. Previously on Survivor. On Friday during lunch, Cody won the first immunity challenge. Wes, Alexia, and Jojo were the first to be eliminated. The students have spoken, and Jojo wins low save and is back on the show. Joe has decided to drop out of the competition because of the swimming conflict, and Alexia will take his place. Pretty much. We had a school meet scheduled for Saturday, and it got canceled due to the weather. And then uh, got rescheduled for Monday, and like Monday is like a big part of Survivor. And I don't want to miss a bunch of stuff, so I didn't really think it was fair to uh, miss a bunch of stuff when other people could be in doing the challenges and raising more money. So I decided to uh, give my spot up to uh, a different Survivor. So if you want your favorite Survivor to stay in, donate now. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. Are you going to win? Oh, yeah. Hashtag will save JoJo. Get away from Quincy's drumming. Close it off and wake up in the morning because that's driving me insane already. But, you know, repping Team Orange. Team Luke. I'm Maggie. We're pretty excited to be here today. It's been fun so far. Yeah, except for the fact that Paul decided to throw snow at us. Yeah, he attacked so. us on the way in. It wasn't very cool. Hey, I'm Paul Harrington and this is Cody Tamavangsa. Today we decided to pair up because we're the two alpha males here. I mean, like, we're the two strongest guys here. There's no reason for us not to be together. We're, we're just gonna dominate everyone, rip them apart. I don't like Paul Harrington. <laughs> and, oh. you know, JoJo's already picking beef, you know? She already got kicked off. I think it's all a ploy. It's all a game. Double eliminate JoJo. Double eliminate JoJo. Well, I'd say that people were pretty mad that it got saved, but I mean the majority of West Ottawa wanted me to be saved, so give the people what they want, I guess. Hashtag, we'll save JoJo. <laughs> Hi, I'm Quincy. I have the biggest beef with right now. Um. I gotta say, Paul. Paul, what can you tell me about uh, the tweets that Quincy has been tweeting out about you making fun of you and stuff and your no, movement? That's a child's game. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna feed into that like Trump, you know? I'm just I'm not gonna do it. Um, I'm feeling pretty good so far, knowing how I uh, actually started my campaign on time and uh, followed all the rules. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, Lucas Sharp, and um, how did you feel today coming into the building? I felt pretty good. I felt ready for the competition, kind of scoping out my competition also, the other survivors. It's going to be cool being in school with no one else's, getting ready to spend the night. And enemies, I might need to make enemies with JoJo. She's in my sixth hour, so got to kind of start a fight and start some fundraising in that class. All right, I'm Maddie. Um, I'm Davis Bader. Well, I just think Paul wants to fight everyone. 
I mean, yeah, like, if you look at his shirt, I mean, he's like a two-year-old Thin Mint. You look at it and you say, it looks good now, but then you bite into it and say, wow, it's a little stale. <laughs>
When I say go, you guys will be given a minute to change. You will run to south, and then you will jump into the pool. Go, let's go. Go! Cody, what time is it? Five a.m. Cody's in second. Called by Lucas. Jojo in fourth place. I'm gonna go right now. Feeling right now? Pretty good. Were you the first in? 150. I was first here. That was the worst run ever. That was like 15 degrees. Cody, you came in second. I don't know what's going on. Doors locked. <laughs> Look at those frost big feet. Paul came in first with $150. Lucas came in second with $125. Yeah, uh, it went better than I expected. But uh, nothing like a good early morning swim, good early morning run. It was a, uh, I don't know, it was really fun. Yeah, I really can't believe we pulled this off. Today's show is brought to you by The Beach Place, located at the Holland State Park. They sell quality ice cream and beach accessories for both kids and adults. There's also a place to eat and sit in the shade. Hello, Estadua. We are now entering our second night of Senior Survivor. So far, $10,700 have been raised towards charity. Let's get this show on the road. Previously on Survivor. Jameson Bader and Taylor Cliffman got first place during the baking contest, winning $300 each. Maddie Farrell and Maggie Hirspink took second place, winning $75 each. 
Jameson Bader won immunity by getting first place during the eating contest. Oh, no, 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 no. Survivor, your next game is coming right now! Cody, what time is it? Oh, man. Paul was fast and jumped into the pool first and collected $150. Survivors, congratulations on raising over $10,700 already. Three people will be eliminated tonight. The, elim the elimination ceremony will now commence. First off, Jameson Bader is safe because he won immunity last night. Unfortunately, you have been eliminated. Paul, you are safe. Cody, you are safe. Quincy, you are safe. Congratulations to the seven survivors remaining. Survivors, you are now dismissed. It's rough getting eliminated. It's just been a really fun time. I think it may be karma for hating on Paul earlier in the game. Thank you to all my supporters, to everybody who's given to me and supported me and hashtag Team Mads. Uh, it's pretty rough, but I'm pretty happy that I got to raise a lot of money for other people who need it. Thanks for everybody who helped me out and donated some money to me. Disappointed, but happy that I went ahead and had this experience. Second elimination in a row, so that should be a record. I feel pretty great that I was able to go ahead and give back to the community, family, Benefited from the charity a couple years ago for all my haters out there haters are my motivators and King Kong got nothing on me It was a bit stressful. Very there's stressful. there's some drama and exactly we early start. Oh my god early start. early start 438 Paul started a week and a half early on his campaign that says <laughs> something. Big old Clifford. Yeah. Yeah. Did I ever tell you how much I love Thin Mints? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we decided we needed someone over five or six to be alpha males. I think we did really good. I think we did well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going around, getting donations from tables, and trying to compete. Mm -hmm. Everyone's being kind of shady. Mm -hmm. Like, not telling us your amounts, telling mm -hmm. us lies. So, you got to kind of get into alliances with them. And I think we're kind of, this is an alliance in the making. Alliance. I won't say how much money I had, but I had uh, 
leftover money. Oh, thank you for supporting us. Continue. Yeah, yeah it sure. means a lot. I think it's Jameson at the moment. He's just kind of mm -hmm. sitting in the background collecting money. Won three hundred dollars so, on the pie yesterday, yeah, and so then we'll and see. immunity. So he's just sit pretty with a bunch of cash. So he might be our next target. No, you gotta donate if he wants to win. Yeah, Quincy and I are in this together. Don't donate to Paul. Don't donate, donate to Paul or Taylor. Quincy. Quincy. Quincy, yeah. Uh, Our Twitter beef is escalating, and uh, he's got a lot of money. Right. There, there's a lot of good competition, though, out there. I mean, Lucas is, Lucas Lucas. is looking the good. Uh, nervous. Yeah, I'm really very nervous. nervous. <laughs> We're going in, like, shaking and going around in the courtyard. It was pretty nerve-wracking. Keep donating to Taylor. <laughs> keep donating to Lucas. This might be an alliance, so keep donating to both of us. Hi, I'm Tiana DeForest, and I was on season one. I'm Cassie Wisning, and I was also on season one. I am Ma, and I was also on season one. Uh, my name is Drake, I was on season two. I'm Zach, and I was also on season two. And I'm Emily, and I was on season two. Um, one of my favorite memories was when I got eliminated right away. I thought that was pretty funny because I had a lot of money saved up that I didn't use. And then there was a whole low save mod thing, which was kind of cool because I got to be back in the game. Well, it actually wasn't that cool because he split the money that he was going to use between me and Tiana. And then when he got put back in, he asked for it all back. In fact, the three of us were all working together, and I believe after that we didn't talk to Matt since. Um, you know, tried my hardest, but you know, sometimes you just can't win them all. That's all right. Second place isn't that bad. The trophy's like this big. Good stuff. Drake, how many stickers did you print out? Like thousands. Like, I'm pretty sure there's still some in like classroom somewhere. Do you see like anyone that you think's gonna win in this season? Definitely Quincy. Quincy? <laughs> I'm pulling for Cody. I think he's got what it takes. I'm pulling for JoJo. I'll go for Lucas because, you know, orange shirts. Yeah. Current survivors, please pair up with an alumni. Yeah. Right now, we're doing an award challenge. So to start the game, current survivors are gonna have to go out these doors and do three snow angels. After that, you will head upstairs directly above us for a three-legged race down this hallway. The first right, there is a spider web type maze going this way. You may not touch or break any of the webs. After that, you will untie your three-legged uh, bandana and head down the staircase. After that, as you can see down there, there's a hula hoop obstacle course. You have to go through every single hula hoop to reach the last station, which is a bucket with five balls in it. The scribe will be blindfolded, and we'll have to throw the five balls individually into the bucket. Justin, is this the final? How many at? Done! 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 Congrats to Drake and Lucas for winning this reward challenge. Alright, you guys will be playing uh, Egg Roulette. For this game, every single person will be handed an egg. There will be... All of them will be hard-boiled except one. One of them will be a rye. Who will do enough rounds until there's only one person remaining. So whoever draws all hard-boiled eggs is the winner. Get on their head. Also, you gotta crack it on top of your head. Yeah. 
Looks like our first one out is Jojo. Two, one, go. Lucas is down. We got round three coming up now. Two, one, go. Oh. Gotta go to salt and pepper. They got some great food. Highly recommended. Love their pasta. Love their bread. Today's show is brought to you by The Beach Place, located at the Holland State Park. They sell quality ice cream and beach accessories for both kids and adults. There's also a place to eat and sit in the shade. Welcome to the final night of Senior Survivor. This is the third and final episode. Survivors have raised $15,000 so far. Let's get this thing going. Previously on Survivor. Alexia, Maddie, and Maggie were eliminated. Lucas and Drake got first place in the relay race, winning $300. Taylor won egg roulette and won $300.
how are you feeling? Great, great. Well, uh, that might change because uh, three will be eliminated. Congratulations on raising $15,000 so far. The elimination ceremony will now commence. Cody, due to the fact you gave all your money to Paul, you have been eliminated. Quincy, you are safe. Jameson, you have been eliminated. Lucas, you are safe. Taylor, you are safe. We are now down to our final two, Jojo and Paul. One of you will be safe, one of you will be eliminated. It was really close, but I'm sorry, Jojo, you have been eliminated. Congratulations. We are now down to our final four. The winner will be announced at the holiday assembly. Survivors, you are now dismissed. because the hashtag double eliminate Jojo actually went through. It's kind of hard. I mean, it, it kind of sucks me eliminated, but I get to go home and get to sleep. It was great to get to meet a lot of people that I've never met before, and I'm very thankful I did this. That's a little disappointing because I know that I raised all my money by myself. I gave all my donation money to Paul because I thought he had the best chance of moving on, and he did, thankfully. Well, I know that they had the elf alpha male alliance or whatever but um i don't know i don't think that he knew that it would be that close what led to my elimination um i don't know i'm just i'm a loser <laughs> since i was this close uh i think that i could have definitely pulled it off if cody hadn't have if he hadn't donated his money to paul because alliance and i wasn't i wasn't gonna move on anyway i don't know if there is an alpha male <laughs> like I'm gonna be at my house, so if you need someone, you can call me. Um, thanks to everyone who um, tweeted hashtag Whoa Save Jojo. I really appreciate the opportunity to come sleep in the school. It was definitely worth it. And I'm really proud of how much money I raised for Windmill. Thank you for donating to me and supporting me. We got Jojo off for the second time. I'll say something else. These people are trash. I'm gonna win. I can... I'm sitting. Kinda okay. Quincy's probably the weakest competitor, actually. As you can see, the squad no longer rolls deep. We lost Jameson, and uh, Cody made the ultimate sacrifice. JoJo and Paul were close, so that was kind of a surprise. Mm -hmm. It almost seemed close. Yeah. yeah, it was close between like all three of us, besides Cody, because he gave me the money. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it's sad to see them go. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be a boring night without them. It's a tough competition. That's a good question. Sitting on this bench, so. Last night was uh, was a little rough. We Bryce and I have gotten six hours of sleep the last two nights combined, and I think that it's just taken a toll on me as far as my health. I don't know what like really Neitzel's talking about. He just woke me up, and I was a little grumpy about it. Like he said, I'm very tired. Well, first of all, we didn't go to bed till like one thirty. And then something happened. My, my mind just like was like, you know, just glitching out and I was just kind of like seeing things. And I don't know if I was awake or not, but there was somebody coming into the room that was trying to attack us. And uh, he kind of just woke me up right in the middle of the night. And I don't, I don't know how, but I had to calm him down. I don't know what he's ta talking about, a story of uh, Somebody uh, trying to come in here and attack us. I don't know what happened, but the black figure was moving around and I heard noises. Mr. Clausen, all night long, uh, he kept me up, snoring. 
I plugged in a fan, I dragged my sleeping bag every corner of the room trying to find a quiet spot. He was trying to attack us, but uh, I just had to calm him down. Luckily, with swift action from me, we made sure that nothing happened and everyone's safe. And then we went back into the room after he saved us and uh, we went to sleep after that. So to any of the survivors, that were complaining about waking up at 4.30, just know that I saved everyone's life last night. Well, I don't typically snore. All right, right now, they're making gingerbread houses. First place will get $300, second place will get $200, and third place will get $100. Fourth place will not receive any money. They will be judged on structural integrity, overall design, creativity, and presentation. Three, two, one. I'm with a special guest, Z Money. He's going to be judging the gingerbread house. First place winning $300, Taylor Clifton. With the conclusion of Miracle Minute, Lucas Char took $81. Second place was Paul Harrington. Third place was Quincy Denez. And fourth place, Taylor Cliffman. Grizzly! Horse! Grizzly! Horse! Grizzly! Horse! Mm. horse! They make some crazy good food. It was really good. crazy horse today. Well, West Ottawa. Thank you very much for Senior Survivor Season 3. Uh, it's been a blast, but I want to go out by letting you know there's lots of students behind the scenes that make it all happen. We have our student senate leaders, our committee chairs, and senate members that uh, have helped coordinate everything from games to fundraising, uh, logistics, uh, and, and many other things. And, ob and obviously, we have our uh, awesome WOBN crew who puts all of the footage together for those amazing shows in the morning. And I think it's really important uh, that we understand that these students and Mrs. Walcott and Mr. Mandrick and Ms. Renis, uh, they put in a lot of time to make sure this event is, uh, is top notch. So thank you West Ottawa for an awesome senior survivor and also thank you to these guys. Okay, what are we actually doing? We're trying to blow this balloon up. Oh. <laughs> Can't get it. Oh. Who dropped it? Caroline! Right. Caroline! It wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> Mr. Reinecke's put a lot of work into this, and we have a huge thank you planned for him. Project Reinecke's underway. Teams, move in! Yeah. That was awesome. All right, things are hectic right now. Survivors, they decided to trash Reinecke's office. I don't know why would they do that. Um, let's come here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you start taking this out? Yeah. Start Merry Christmas, Mr. Reinecke. All right, well, first of all, I'm Zach Neitzel. And I'm Bryce Thomas. And we were the directors for the show this year. And I can really say that it was a privilege to be able to do this. Um, we're glad that you guys really enjoyed it, followed along, we appreciate all the support, and we were able to get a lot of money uh, earned here. And um, we're waiting on the total still, but we're hoping that it's going to be a bigger number than last year. So um, with the shorter schedule and everything, we, we really appreciate all the support and everything because it's all for a good cause. Yeah, thank you guys. We do have some bonus coverage of what happened behind the scenes for you after we roll the credits, so uh, don't forget to watch that. Check it out. Thanks again, guys.
We have raised seventeen thousand three hundred twenty-one dollars. In fourth place is Paul Harrington. In third place is Taylor Clifton. And your twenty sixteen Senior Survivor Champion is Lucas Shaw. I'm here for my shipment of hundreds. Oh, Paul, yeah, I got a lot of money for you. Okay, thank you. Here you go, Paul. Oh, Have thanks a great so much. Day. Yeah, you too. How are your stress levels? I'm tired, I want to go home. I'd like to officially award you the immunity idol for the day. Wow. Congratulations. Thanks. What came first, the color or the fruit? The color. The color, the color, the color. <laughs> We're just finishing up the game here. What are you working on? Uh, bumper in the final show. Danny, how do you feel? I feel really great right now. <laughs> It's early in the morning. I'm up. I'm ready to go. Let's say, let's get it going. How do you feel about the temperature? It's I mean, really it's 50 really degrees and about zero. Here we go. We got. We got moving. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Six a.m. Waking yeah, up in the morning. Three and a half hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody watching, get on the side so you're not in these shots. Go. So, how much money have we got? Um, 11, 10,600. 11, 10,000? You know what, Jared? Um, yeah, that was 3,500 pennies. Yeah. Way too many pennies to ever, ever be on one table. How's fixing the coin counter coming? It's fixed. Nice. How's your experience been so far here at Survivor? Good. Good. Having fun? Yeah. How do you feel that your sister got eliminated? It's all good. Wow. Charlie? You know, the money, you just gotta have more, I guess. <laughs> do that during the behind the scenes. It is behind the scenes. <laughs> so Spencer, how, what do you like to eat? I eat normal food. He photosynthesizes. <laughs> hey, don't hey, chunk. He ate a pancake this morning. He, he has gills, he filters nutrients. Yeah, Minnesotan newscaster. <laughs> I'm Ron Burgundy. Yeah, let him try, let him try. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I want everyone in it. Everybody agree you're not in it. Hit us up for your New Year's celebrations.